The sculptor, James Searles, the workers, his students and friends, and the problem, getting it out of his studio garage and onto a truck. Searles is 33 and teaches what he does at SMU. He likes wood best and hacked away with a chainsaw and a rasp for a couple of weeks. Then he put the whole two and a half ton thing together with steel rods. Using a hoist, a small four-wheel dolly, and the collective muscle of about 30 volunteers, the trip to the street went easier than anyone expected. Did you ever feel like uh, Pharaoh's men when you're moving that out of the garage? Well, I feel like Pharaoh's men several times, not, not just then, yeah. Yeah, you always uh, have jokes about moving pyramids and all this kind of stuff, but I can't make art without my friends. It takes a lot of people to help me do what I do, you know, and I really depend on, uh, on people to help me. And uh, I'm, really, I'm really glad that uh, I have a lot of friends. <laughs> it's called Point to Point, and uh, uh, I kind of think of it as an animal. What kind of an animal is this one? Uh, well, I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a long pointed animal, I guess. Pointed animal, I guess, arrived at his first stop in less than an hour, parallel parked on Tremont Street, waiting for the flatbed truck that took him to Houston for the winter. Skip Silly, Channel 8 News.